these are one step equations that you need to solve for x. This one we would divide both sides by 6, leaving us with x. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Continue to complete problems 1 through 5 on your own. The diagram shows figure A, B, and C, and point O. Figure B is the image of figure A under a dilation with center O and scale factor 2. So A is the original. It's dilated from O with a scale factor of 2, meaning that it is twice the size, or double in size. Figure C is the image of figure A under a dilation with center O and scale factor 4. Sketch the image of figure A under a dilation with center O and scale factor 3. Label this image figure D. So we use these lines here to help us place the points. You're also going to need a compass to be able to copy the distances. So to do a dilation, you're going to place the point on the center of dilation, which in this case is O, and then you're going to place your pencil on the point that you're trying to dilate. So from here, this is one, two, three, and you're gonna create a mark here for that scale factor of three. Now we're going to do the same thing for the next point. We want our point here on O and our pencil on the next point. This would be 1, 2, 3 for a scale factor of 3. For the center point, again, place your pencil on O, or your point on O and your pencil on the point. That would be one, two, oops, it's a little off there, two, So now I have three points that I'm going to connect using a straight edge. And then this one is that curve across the top. Now to make our image even more precise, we could use a point on the curve to help us put a, a point on our image and it does ask us to label it using figure D. Oops, let me clear out that. All right, draw and label the image of point P under a dilation with center O and scale factor four. So here's a video of another method you could use besides using your compass that uses a similar strategy. We're going to start by drawing a straight line through the point of dilation, which is O, and any point on the figure that you're trying to dilate. So through O and P, but you have to go beyond that. Now we are copying those distances here on this paper, which is basically what we do with our compass. There would be a dilation of two, three, and four, and then we would label it P prime. So for number three, we are going to start by drawing a straight line through the center of dilation and the point we're trying to dilate. And then using our protractor, 
or not our protractor, our compass, we are going to measure the distance between O and Q. And we are going to copy it. So here's one copy, two copies. And we are going to place the point Q prime in its new location. For number four, again, we're going to start out by drawing a line through our center and the point. Measure from O to P on our compass. And then without changing the size, that would be a dilation of two. Now we're gonna put our point on that little arc and draw in its new location. So this would be a dilation of scale factor. Oops. One, two, three. So this is now P prime. Describe the dilation shown in the diagram that maps point R to point R prime. Well, this would be a dilation of one, two, three, four. So they dilated from center O by a scale factor of four. Describe the dilation that maps Q to Q prime. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So they also dilate term O, but this time by a scale factor of six. How is the distance between the center and the point, so for example, between O, the center, and the point R, related to the distance between the center and the point's image? Well, the distance between the center and the point in the image is equal to the distance between these multiplied by that scale factor. So let's say if this was a distance of five centimeters and our scale factor was seven, then the distance between O and R prime should be 35 centimeters because five times seven is 35. So it's that distance between the original and its center multiplied by the scale factor. In problem five, we can see that OR represents the distance between O and R, and we can use OR prime to represent the distance between the original, or excuse me, the center and the image. So we can see here, there is an expression or an equation. This would be the scale factor This here, the x, is the distance between the center and the figure. This is the distance between the center and the image. So now we're going to use this equation to apply 
it to the next few problems. It says write an equation that represents the dilation shown with center O and scale factor R, so we don't have a number, but we're going to use R, that maps point P to P prime. So the distance between O and P is multiplied by R, and that will give us the distance between O and P prime. Scale factor times the distance of the original segment is the distance between these two new points. In problem 8, we actually do have the scale factor, and it tells us that the scale factor is 6. So if we use the same line of reasoning, OR times the scale factor of 6 would give us the distance for OR prime. Well, the distance for OR was 2, so 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So that distance is 12 feet. And now, obviously, this isn't drawn to scale, so our computer isn't 12 feet across there. And your workbook doesn't have 12 feet of space between those. Point P prime is the image of point P under a dilation with center O. What is the scale factor of the dilation? So we can plug those in to the equation. We know that it should say OP prime is that scale factor times OP. And here, OP prime has a distance of 6.4. We don't know R but we do know that OP is 3.2. So this is 3.2R equals 6.4. And if we divide both sides by 3.2, that will give us that scale factor. 6.4 divided by 3.2 is 2. So the scale factor is 2. And the scale factor doesn't get any units, so we don't need to say centimeters here. It is just a scale factor, just a number. Yu Yan draws S prime H prime. She claims that its image, it is the image of SH under a dilation with a center O. Do you agree with Yu Yan? Explain. Well, if it is a dilation, we should be able to connect O with those points. They should line up on those lines, which they do. And I should be able to use my compass to determine the scale factor or to determine if it's in the correct location. So we will line it up on O and H. Then we will place it in its new location and draw an arc. Place the point there and draw an arc. So that looks like one, two, three. So I'm thinking that scale factor is three. And then we're going to double check over here between O and S to make sure that those distances are also a scale factor of three. So we will place the point on S make a little arc, place the point on the arc, and it lines up with S. So yes. So it is in line with the center O, and both S prime and h prime are a scale factor of 3 from the original.
if H used a scale factor of 3 and S used a different scale factor, then we would not say that it was a dilation. Sarah draws B prime I prime E T prime and claims its image, it's the image of B I T under a dilation with center O. Do you agree with Sarah? Well, let's start by tracing those lines. So far, yes. Line it up with O. So the lines look okay. Now let's use our compass to verify those distances have the same scale factor. So B uses a scale factor of 2. If we copy this distance, whoops, for I and place it on I, that is not a scale factor of 2. That would be out here. So I is not in the correct location. So I disagree with Sarah. The points line up on the line. But they did not use a common scale factor between O and B, it used a scale factor of 2, but for O and I, it was not a scale factor of 2. Your warm-up should be complete, and you should have your answers filled in in your workbook, demonstrating and explaining as needed.